Hi everyone and welcome to today's reading. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are returning. My name is Lindy, this is Much Love Tarot. Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be doing very quick little readings today. Um, yes and no questions, answers, as well as the reason why or the energy behind this. Of course, kind of depends on how you formulate the question. It can be a yes or no. So I also wanted to clarify the energy a little bit and see what's going on, why it's a yes or why it's a no, or the energy behind it. <clears throat> So yes, let me start with all the announcements first. As always, you can still book private readings with me. My email address is in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. Uh, there is also a link tree link in the description box. If you go over there, you'll find everything from my TikTok, my Instagram for anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation. Different ways to do that as well. Or you can just stick uh, on YouTube with the super thanks button uh, below this video. Now, let's jump into uh, the pick a card section of today's reading. So, yes or no question. In your mind, have the question, go over the cards, um, and which one kind of like pops out to you. Let me go over the options we have. Number one, pile number one, you are going to be the offer with Venus for pile number one. Pile number two, you are going to be party and external for pile number two. Pile number three, you are going to be assistance and spirit guides <clears throat> for pile three. Pile four, you are going to be deception and temptation for pile four. Number five, you guys are going to be summer with growth for pile number five. And pile number six, you are going to be the comfort zone with clinging from the south node for pile number six. So if you need some more time to figure out which pile belongs to you, then you can pause the video here and otherwise I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi, pile number one. So if you chose Venus with the offer, then this is gonna be your reading today. So we're gonna be looking into the yes or no question um, that you have in your mind as well as the energy surrounding this. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, with some tarot and after that I'm just going to see if I want some oracles, if so, which one. Uh, so we're just kind of going to wing it a little bit. Um, let's take a look. With that offer with Venus here, um, I am leaning more towards a yes, like something coming towards um, maybe even for some of you to do with a love offer, an offer in love. But let's take a look. Pile number one. On your question, is that a yes or a no answer to your question? As well as the energy surrounding this. Okay, let's see what you have. First off, the four of cups. The nine of wands. The seven of pentacles. And the five of pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords. The two of Swords and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so I definitely feel that this is some sort of like choice that needs to be made. Maybe an offer coming in from an unexpected side. I feel like it's almost a choice between old and new. Where it's still very much holding on to the old and not really being open for that offer, that new thing coming in. Um, as well as there might be even some worries, like, is this offer coming in? Should I take it? Should I not? Am I good enough? Is this going to work out? Um, all these questions kind of lead me towards a yes, as in, like, taking it, going for it, action, moving forward, um, for some of you, there might be a feeling of maybe even as deep as like imposter syndrome, where you feel like you're not good enough or you're not studied enough or um, I'm not there yet. I haven't had like the experience. I'm very much stuck in making a decision. As well as with the Nine of Wands, that's very like defensive energy. 
But then <clears throat> if you question the defensiveness, like where is this coming from? Why am I feeling this way? Why do I feel with that five pentacles either not worthy or for some of you maybe even a feeling of abandonment? Uh, where is this coming from? I think there is a lot to uncover here with that nine of wands energy of like what the root is of why you're having such a hard time making a decision here. If this is a yes or no question when it comes to an offer coming in or going out even, um, as in, should I take the offer? Yes. Should I uh, do the offer? Yes. Um, because right now, I feel like the longer, even if that's like a no for you, where it feels resonating, I feel like with that two of swords, any movement is better than this limbo state that you are in right now with whatever this question is about. Um, let me get some oracles for you guys on this. Pile number one. We have travel. Travel, right? Movement is kind of what I'm feeling. Movement. Transcending. As well as like taking control as well. Not waiting for someone else to make a decision. But go like, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to accept the offer. Or give an offer. We have answers. Look at that. Answers. Look at that. At the bottom we have life purpose. Okay. So yeah, this might be a very, very hard thing. I don't think you're going to get any more clarity or any more answers than with all the information that you have right now. With all the information that you have, you should be able to make a decision in this. And I feel like the decision has to do with travel or movement or moving on, moving forward. Uh, like finding out that next destination, next goal, you know. Because with that Four of Cups, there's a lot of reflection. Which is alright, but I feel like right now it's almost where it's like stuck. Have I learned enough lessons? Have I, you know, whatever it is. If it is in love, if it is in work, if it is in travel, whatever this is about. I feel like there's nothing more you can learn from the past. You already gathered all the information, right now you need to put it into practice. And with that Seven of Pentacles, you're not perfect. There's still more learning that needs to be done. I feel like you cannot just learn, though, from the past. You need to make new experience so you can learn more. Everything that's happened, I feel like you've already learned the lessons from now. We need to put it into practice. So yeah, I am going to leave the reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of short um, content content uh, type video for you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pile number two. So if you chose party with external, then this is going to be your reading today. So yes or no question, as well as why is it a yes or no? Like I said in the intro, uh, depending on how you ask the question, it's going to be a yes or no. So I also wanted to get, take a look a little bit at the energy surrounding this um, question. With that party and external, the card, I don't know, it feels... I kind of wanted to say initially yes, but... It feels a bit like, like suspicious, like turning a blind eye. I'm not sure what's going on. So let's take a look at the tarot, what it has to say. We'll do some quick tarot. And after that, I wanted to add some oracle. I'm just going to see whichever I feel fitting or that we need in which oracle I'm going to take for this. So let's take a look. Pile number two. This yes or no question. Is it a yes or no? As well as the energy surrounding this energy for you. Is it a yes or a no? Any energy? Okay, let's see what we have so far. We have the Six of Swords, we have the Ten of Swords, and we have the Four of Cups. I feel like there might be some holding on. 
a little bit to something that's no longer serving you in the first place. We have the Knight of Cups as the overall energy and the King of Wands as well. And then the Eight of Swords. Yeah, okay. So I definitely feel that this has to do with some sort of decision making. Again, that Six of Swords is leaving a situation that's no longer serving you. That's also a card to me that could indicate being in um, some sort of abusive or non, not an equal connection, partnership, friendship with that party external. I kind of feel like friendship where there is one party. Because that Ten of Swords as well, that's like being very hurt. Very, very hurt. And then at Four of Cups, I kind of feel a little bit of trauma being here or staying in a certain situation because of past trauma at the same time this is almost like the last straw um we have the knight of cups and the king of wands so for those of you where this is about a love relationship the knight of cups is new love coming in and then at the other end we have the king of I for some of you, I feel like this might be a situation where you're between two people. Where one of them is fun, is flirty, there's that attraction, there's almost that, I don't want to say obsession, but there is that like pull or mystery around this person, right? And then a new person coming in with that Knight of Cups that actually goes the mile, that kind of like moves towards you. There is a lot of potential there uh, of something real deep. But I feel like because of past experiences, past hurt and pain, where like, okay, I saw, this just reminds me of TikTok I saw, where if, if someone feels like home and feels comfortable and just like, you know, you know this energy, you know this vibe and it feels like home or it reminds you of home and your home is not a stable situation that's not a good thing and i kind of feel that that's kind of with that king of wands it like draws you in it's comfortable because you at least know how to deal with it it does not mean that that's healthy um and with this one as well like i said a little bit of like how do you say it like a blind eye turning a blind eye um with this person and so not having an open mind for something better Someone more healthier, a healthier relationship coming in. And that six of ones is very much has to do with moving on, moving forward. Um, you've hurt enough, right? With that ten of swords, literally, like, there's nothing more that you can, like, endure, you know? It's, like, at the point where, like, I'm almost becoming numb. Again, turning a blind eye. And with that Four of Cups, maybe even a feeling of, you know, I've been in this situation for so long. This person has been in my life for so long. You know, that's kind of who they are. Again, turning a blind eye to the, maybe even abuse, but also the things that they maybe do to other people as well that you are not okay with. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I see here. Uh, let me get some oracles for you guys on this as well. How that is a yes or a no, I kind of feel like if the question was about that toxic person, um, again, depending on how you ask questions, should you stay with this person? I don't think it's healthy. If you're like, should I leave? Then I feel like that's the answer is yes. Um, or like, should I be open to a new person coming in? This new person coming in? Yes. Um, you know, kind of depend on how you ask the question with this. But let's take a look. Pile number two, some oracles on this. Okay, we have fertility and we have family. Fertility and family. To me, this is just like how do you picture your family? You know, who do you like see yourself having children with? If you already have children with someone, does not mean that you should stay with them because just because you have children with them right how do you picture your family situation how do you see you know your life with children with a family with whatever it is that you want and what you desire what picture do you see yourself in and not who do you like to see yourself with but who is actually right now giving you that energy 
don't go like, oh, they can change, or I see this picture where they're nice to me, but every day that you see them, they're being a bit of an asshole. So that's not happening. Let's take a look at this realistically. The picture that you set for yourself and who right now fits that bill. If none of them do, fine, then they're both not it. It's that simple. I'm, <laughs> I'm that straightforward. Then they're not, not it. Because with that family as well, it's like not clear. You don't see who they are, right? It's still a bit dark. And to me, that's just spirit going like, it is in the cards for you, that happy family. But it's just a little bit gray. It's up to you to decide who fits in that shadow, right? Who are they? And I feel like your intuition has been telling you this with that, you know, party. And if this resonates for you, then you know what's up. You know what's up. Um, so, yeah, I am going to leave the reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching this reading so I know that I can make more of this kind of short, quick little answers uh, readings for you guys in the future as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi pal number three, so if you chose assistant with spirit guides, then this is going to be your reading. We are going to take a look at a yes or no question as well as the why, uh, the energy surrounding this question as well. For those of you where your question formulated with a should I, the answer is going to be yes. Um, but let's just take a look at, again, the energy that's surrounding this question as well. Pal number three, this yes or no question. Is it a yes or no as well as the energy surrounding this question for pile number three? <laughs> Again, if it is a should I question, I think it's going to be a yes. But let's see. Uh, we have the fool. Okay, again, the fool. Uh, yes, new beginnings, fresh starts, going out there, not really having a plan. <laughs> Just kind of like we're kind of seeing. Again, it's... Oh, I love this energy. Okay, uh, we have Justice, we have the Page of Wands, and we have the Nine of Swords. So, so there might be some worrying about this. For some of you, this might be about like travel even. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles as well as the Four of Swords. Let me add that one as well. And the World. Okay, the World is the last card of the deck. Uh, the Fool is the first one. So endings of cycles, new cycles starting. Um, I think Spirit has been trying to connect with you. Um, and I think your intuition is telling you to yes. Um, however, that Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords as the overall energy at the bottom of that deck both talk about taking it slow, taking it easy, taking a little bit of a break, a rest, um, getting yourself... Because I feel with that Knight of Pentacles well, the Knight of Pentacles, yes, is the slowest moving energy on the deck, but also moving forward still and taking each step diligently doing what needs to be done building on that foundation um and with that four of swords i feel like you just kind of need a break uh maybe even a vacation where it's a bit overwhelming what's going on justice can be about that you just got out of a situation that involved some sort of contract whether that is getting fired or getting a divorce or just um quitting your job something to do with contract and contract maybe ending of contracts or new beginnings with contracts but a little bit worried um if you're like present for that right again i feel like you just need a little bit of break should i take that job yes should i go on a vacation yes should i you know if it's those type of question that's a yes very much yes this is such a quick one uh with that page of ones as well that's also a new adventure new first steps right the pages are full energy um into like excitement energy of like okay what do i want to do and just like do it more in that childlike energy um 
which I absolutely love. Okay, let me add some oracles on this. This is a very, very quick message for you guys. Yes, I think it is. Because with that assistance with spirit guides, I think they have been trying to guide you in a certain direction. Into a new cycle, a new start. We have dreams. Look at that. They might even have been trying to connect to you through your dreams. So pay attention to your dreams. As well as that, new beginning can be your dream coming true. You following your dreams. Hell yes. Hell yes. Okay. Oh, oh that's half a deck. What else? Pile number three. Anything else? Pile three. We have truth. Truth. And the one that also popped out is protection. So, spirits like, we understand, right? But you already know the truth. You already feel that as well because they have been so in contact with you. Spirit has been so trying to guide you into this new beginning. As well as trying to give you a feeling of that you are protected. That they are here to help you out for your best interest. Loving you. And... Again, with that world here as well, the world, it might be about relocating or taking a vacation, um, distance, something with distance here. But I feel like spirit, this is to me is a hell yes, hell yes. If you're just having like doubts, looking for confirmation, do it, go after it. If it excites you, if it is, it's like it's ex exciting, but also scaring you a little bit. Where like, I don't know what to expect. I don't know where to go. But it'll, just a feeling of, I just know, right? I just know that I need to do this. So yes, I'm going to leave it here because yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. So I know that I can make more of this type of short content uh questioning for you guys in the future as well don't forget to subscribe have a lovely lovely rest of your day go kick ass just go yes go <laughs> do do it um and then hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading hi pal number four so if you chose this card with deception and temptation then this might be your reading today um, yes or no question, as well as the energy surrounding it, why it's a yes or a no. Again, depending on how you ask the question, it can be a yes or a no. So let's just see with the energy surrounding this as well. With that deception and temptation, I do feel that there is some... How is it? Like mystery around this. Some hidden energy still. Um, so let's just take a look what the tarot has to say about this for you guys. Poem number four. Is this a yes or a no? As well as the energy surrounding this. Because I feel like it's very... Uh, a bit, like, hidden. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that was too much. One went to the ground. Let me pick that one up. Where is it? Oh, here. Oh, da, da, da. Okay. First off, we have the Queen of Cups. The Three of Cups. King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and Temperance. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, as well as the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, that explains that. And then we also have the Nine of Cups. Okay. This one, I'm the, I'm the first one where I'm like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, like, what I'm looking at. But that deception, temptation. Okay, I do feel that this has to do with, like, people in your life. Whether that's friends or whether that's a romantic relationship. I definitely feel that this is a connection that was supposed to come on your path. Almost like a lesson or a test to find who stay with that King of Pentacles for the long run. Who you can trust for the long run, who are real with you as well. Because um, with that Ten of Pentacles, I feel like you're just like a bit tired. Just like tired of it all. Um, like, why do I have to deal with this bullshit? <laughs> it's kind of the energy I'm getting. 
whether it has to do with friends or whether it has to do with a romantic relationship or maybe both. Um, the Queen of Cups is someone that gives. And I feel like that's you, right? Where you just give, you give just because that's who you are, one, and because that's what you love to do. You love to share. You love to love. Um, and there might be people with that assumption as well that take advantage, advantage, advantage of that, whether that's friendships, whether that's romantic relationships, or that seems like that's the people that you attract. With that temperance, that's about finding the middle path, finding that sweet spot of balance here um where it's about equal give and equal take because i feel like there is an imbalance of you giving 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 and other people are not doing giving you the same right the expectation that you might have of these people is higher than what it is that you're giving which is giving you a feeling of either not feeling worthy or is it just me am i the crazy one when in fact it's just again the expectation that you might have for them um okay let me give you like an example because this does not necessarily mean that like okay you know they're not meeting my expectations so i need to let go it can also be a, about you lowering the expectation of either Again, who this is, because I feel like it has to do with one person in particular that you ask a question about. Um, so it's one of two things, right? One, well, basically it's like one, uh, but by you lowering the expectation of this person in your life where you're like, OK, well, I've learned the hard way. I've tried, I tried, I tried to do it my way and... Um, by because i feel like it's you giving that love and then expecting that back that expectation that is where the hurt and the pain comes from not from you being a giving and loving person because that's just who you are don't change that there is a, however the expectation and then there is that internal thing okay if i lower the expectation am i still going to give the same amount of love to this person and to that, it's, again, yes or no, depending on how you feel that you are. If you are capable of doing that, great. Because without the expectation of, I want that back, then it's just you loving, right? You giving. But knowing, I feel like just, again, lowering the expectation or knowing what this person brings to the table for you gives you more like peace of mind because you're not expecting anything back um or you go like you know what i i do want to receive back what i put in so then this person does not belong in my life anymore because they're not bringing that to the table what i have to offer i'm not too much then they are just too little again or changing the expectation of, okay, what is this person bringing in? Not that much. Okay, then I know, right? I do not expect anymore that someone bring the same amount of level back to me. Again, with that Wheel of Fortune, I definitely feel that this is like a lesson, a slow moving lesson. It's something that takes a lot of time. It's easy for me to say this in like a couple of minutes. Um, but that's kind of the energy I'm seeing here. So with that, it kind of depends on how you ask the question, whether it's a yes or a no. For some of you, it might also take a little bit of time to have that switch happen in your mind. Because um, with that deception, there might still be a lot of things underneath the surface um, with this person or this connection. So let's see what we have the oracle for this. We have spirit guide. Okay, so trusting spirit on this as well as, again, with that wheel of fortune, that spirit brought this person or this connection into your life for to learn that lesson as well either it can for some of you it can also be a lesson about communicating that to them where it's like hey i've noticed i'm doing a lot emotionally and i feel like i'm not getting anything back is that just who you are you know is this the most you can bring in if so that's fine then maybe you know i need to lower or like change my expectation of this connection um, let's see, we also have inspiration. Inspiration. Okay. 
So yeah, trusting that inner voice. I feel like this is, uh, you guys, I kind of want to do a full on in-depth reading for you guys on this. Uh, but like I said, we were going to do a very quick yes or no. And I feel with this one very much so that it kind of depends on how you ask the question. I think I explained this, um, like what's going on, the energy I'm feeling here very well and with that you can make the conclusion whether it's a yes or a no for you with this energy it's okay as well if you need a little bit more time to come to this conclusion because right now i'm just not feeling comfortable saying oh yes or oh no you know i think the answer will come in time the more like comes to the surface know that spirit you know has like put you in here for a reason and trusting that as well as if you need some more guidance like they're here you need to search for that inner um, spark or go inward with meditation to find that um, connection to spirit and to hear that guidance of okay what do i need to do next and then they'll answer so yeah i kind of want to leave it here for you guys i, I do feel you are like the, the um the, I, I kind of want to say the only ones where I feel a little bit bad ending it just because it's such a complex situation that I really want to dive into, but we just don't have the time. Um, so yeah, I am going to leave it here for you guys, pile number four. I hope it was helpful. I still hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of short content form readings for you guys in the future. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You absolutely got this. Just take your time. It's fine. Uh, and then hopefully I'll talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number five. If you chose the summer card with growth, then this is going to be your reading today. Now with this card, initially the first thing is like, oh, that's a yes. Uh, but while a little bit meditating, while shuffling the cards, I kind of got if you guys have a timed question where like if it is is it the time yet i kind of feel like it's a no with that one so it kind of depends on how you formulate the question let me take a look at the energy that is with this as well and like is it a yes or a no and why um again depending on how you ask the question but let's take a look pile number five is this a yes or a no to your question as well as the energy surrounding this what's going on here um for pile number five okay we have a lot let's take a look we have the death card the four of ones the ace of ones the ace of pentacles the page of ones and the seven of cups okay at the bottom we have the lovers yes okay so i feel like this has with the death card as well the death card talks about like I'm seeing a lot of like new beginnings, uh, rebirth, even reconciliation. Um, missing, longing, desire, attraction. growth and summer i am <clears throat> okay if this is about a relationship or a question of should i give them another chance or should there be reconciliation or will there be reconciliation i feel like there are high chances here uh because i do feel that there is this like almost magnetic pull towards one another there is one but though um there has to have been growth and transformation because yes the death card talks about rebirth but it also talks about transforming right with that ace of ones new starts to like starting over energy um for some of you i feel like it might be that it just ended there hasn't been like that time for transformation yet uh that i feel like that needs to happen um because otherwise you are just going to continue the where, where you left off. And with this, I definitely feel, again, there is this like pull towards each other. For some of you, it might also be that there is some physical distance between the two of you. Um, 
but I am seeing a new beginning or at least a new opportunity to have a new beginning, a new start. Now, with that Seven of Cups, there are a lot of options and maybe a little bit, well, not a little bit, but a couple of doubts. Um, I kind of want to clarify that one, the Seven of Cups. Why is that here? Three of Cups, okay. Or are we just going to stay friends? Um, is this going to be something more? You know, all the options I feel like are still open. And again, with that lovers, it's also about a choice here. And a strong connection between the two of you. So again, depending on what, like, how you ask question, what the question is, is there a strong connection here? Yes. Um, will you guys end up together? I think the chances of taking a look at it is very much there. Uh, more so in the sense of like, are we going to be friends? Are we going to be something more? I do feel a very, very strong attraction between the two of you. If there's an ex-partner, again, there has to be some sort of transformation first. Uh, so for you, for some of you, it's a yes. For others of you, it's a not right now. Again, with that timing. Okay, let's see what oracles we have for you guys. Pile number five. We have beauty, so very much attraction being there between the two of you. If the question was about attraction, then it's definitely a yes. There is we have prosperity, so definitely things looking up, and we have have, have friendship again, again with that friendship. So where this is about a friendship situation or wanting to keep it as friends um, or maybe you are friends right now. For some of you, it might be moving from friendship into something more. Um, prosperity as well, lying ahead, right? Prosperities lie ahead. So in the future, so not right now, but it is coming in kind of feeling as to work on that friendship first, work on that um foundation show your growth and for some of you it's still working on that growth so if you are to the point where you're doubtful okay have i done enough growing transforming working on my um shadow side am i ready for this should i be opening up uh, i think then it's more a yes I think you should. Again, with that Seven of Cups, a lot of options are open. You don't have to rush into things. You can take it slow and just, you know, see what fits, what works. I definitely, again, I feel a very strong pull towards one another. Uh, and it's right now just a bit of a feeling of, okay, how are we going to make this fit in? Um, and working on that friendship first. Kind of friends to lovers is kind of what I'm feeling. So yeah, I kind of want to leave it here for you guys, to be honest. Um, I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me uh, let me know in the comments down below, as well as give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this type of short um, little readings, short, quick answers. So I know that I can make more of this type of questions and this type of readings for you guys in the future. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a lovely, lovely rest of your day. Go kick ass. And yeah, you got this, so go get them. And hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, pal number six. So if you chose the south node with comfort zone and clinging, then this is going to be your reading today. So a yes or no uh, question, um, as well as the reasons why, the energy behind it. Again, like I said in the intro, kind of depends on how you formulate the question, uh, whether it's going to be a yes or a no. With this comfort zone and clinging, I definitely feel you're too comfortable in a situation or like... Yeah, like in, in the status quo, in what's going on right now. Um, for some of you, it might be even a little bit triggering. Again, I, yeah, I kind of feel like moving away from this or stepping outside of your comfort zone a little bit. Because for some of you, that comfort zone, look at her. It's like comfort zone and clinging, but she's almost like suffocating here. Um... So let's take a look. Pile number six. 
what is the energy here for pile number six? Okay, let's see what we have. We have the Nine of Swords, the Fool, the Seven of Swords, Five of Wands, Judgment, and the Chariot. Yeah. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. So the Two of <laughs> The Two of Wands is about one a decision, as well as... Um, like, there are boats down, down there as well. Like, where are we going to go? What is next? What is... As well as a little bit of reflection. What has this gotten me? And do I still want that? Or just do I want to go on, out on an adventure? Have I been wasting my time? Um, for some of you, it might also be the um, opinion of others. For some of you, it might be that you feel trapped in a situation. Other people's opinions. Um, conformity of um, culture, of religion, of feeling... I, I just get a feeling of feeling trapped and wanting to break free. Maybe even rebel a little bit with that full energy. New beginnings, new start, doing to like starting all over. I think this is an idea that really excites you. Like the idea of going out there, like forget about everyone else and just like the idea of what it is that you want to do is exciting and you feel motivated and you want to go for it. It's just all the things of maybe feeling that you might be hurting other people, feeling that you're not being truthful, that you're not being fair to others, that you are... <sighs> Maybe even feeling like you're like cheating on everyone or again, not being fair or feeling that burden um, causing that conflict within yourself, afraid of having that conflict with other people. But judgment is also about, again, with that two of wands, looking back, doing the exact same thing and expecting a different outcome. That's madness. That's madness. Um... So something needs to change. And with that judgment, like, there is that internal call of, like, you've been doing this exact same thing, nothing happening, and all of a sudden there is that beacon of light within yourself, that guidance from spirit where, like, hey, let's, hey, look at that, everyone, look at that. Um, so change is already happening within you. And pushing it forward and pushing it forward is only going to make you, one, miserable, um and two it's you know it's there i feel like the realization is there and i think it's time i think it's time to at least take a peek or take a look you don't have to take that action just yet but the interest is there so let's take a look hey what's that hey what's that kind of owl uh what is that inspiration saying to me talking to me um where is it coming from? And doing some research. Making up your mind about it. Because right now, I feel like you're a little bit like punishing yourself. By like seeing that owl there, but not looking at it. No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. You know, no, no, no. That's not for me. I should ignore it. But every time it pops out and every time you walk past, you see it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I want to. And then in your mind, you're already... I feel like that's like the visual like the um, the cycle you're in the vicious cycle you're in because i feel like by ignoring this you are cheating yourself the attraction to this new beginning this idea whatever it is that you want to do whether it's traveling whether it's a different job whatever it is breaking up with someone whether it is getting into a relationship with someone whatever like whatever it is right um i feel like if you don't take a look that is being untruthful to yourself as well trying to fool yourself like your head trying to tell your heart not to feel right again that's also like hard and impossible so i kind of want to like, 
I feel like Spirit is just coming in like, no, no, let's just look. Like, we bring this in for you to take a look at. For your true self. For a new adventure, a new start. And it, yes, it does mean getting outside of your comfort zone. Um, for some of you, it's also about letting someone go. If someone's meant to be in your life, they will be in your life. Um, if not now, then later. But if they're leaving right now, there's a reason for that. Because you are good enough. You deserve everything that you desire. And Spirit knows that. And Spirit wants that for you as well. They, like Spirit's sole purpose is your happiness. Sometimes they, it just takes a little bit of a shitty road to get there. Okay, pile number six. Okay, we have a lot to say today. Okay, uh, we have, look at that, happiness. Mm -hmm. Happiness as well as well-being. Like I said, Spirit wants your happiness, wants your well-being. And then the things that also kind of popped out that I wanted to add as well is freedom. Uncaging yourself. Not realizing that you are in a cage. And waiting for, um, for some of you it might be waiting for someone else to help you out of that cage. Where spirit's like, okay, here it is. And you do it. You do the work. We have beauty. You deserve everything. Prosperity. Look at that. At the bottom we have commitment. So it's very much in the cards for you. Where there's commitment, whether that's the, the job you want, whatever this is about. I feel like Spirit just wants you to take that leap of faith. Outside of your comfort zone. The heck with everyone else having an opinion about this. Because I feel like this is like a flame inside of you that's going to grow and grow and grow. And just like acknowledging this with that cherry energy, that is like the strength to move forward, to go get this. Have that like playful curiosity to take a peep. So yeah, I don't think there's anything more I can say about this for you guys. Uh, I hopefully that that answered your yes or no question. I am gonna leave it here. So again, I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it, so I know that I can make more of this type of short type of short answering questions for you guys in the future as well. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. Take a little peek and step outside of your comfort zone today you absolutely got this like no doubt in my mind uh that spirit's got your back on this so yeah go kick ass have an awesome rest of your day and then hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading